Welcome back guys, Harry here, known as Trade Shop, and today we're going to have a look at Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum has been going crazy, it's finally started to move, so we're going to have a, a bit of a deeper look into that. But of course, let's have a look at Bitcoin here. Bitcoin is moving over the weekend, which is interesting to see, which will leave a gap in CMEs, which uh, if, you know, could be actually a professional gap. We'll just have to see how that forms. But, uh, you know, I don't see any issues. I don't think Bitcoin would come down and fill that gap. I think it would be actually a continuation sign. Here we have this nice rising low pattern here. And if we can close this four hour above this area on in an hour and 39 with volume. Volume, you know, starting to pick up here. If we can see volume start to pick up, then I do think that, you know, you could make a measured move from this uh, area here, which would probably bring you back to. I think probably between this resistance and that resistance, to be honest, which is normal to see and is one of, you know, the short term targets here. And you can see, yep, it brings you back directly to the resistance of all time high. So we'll see uh, that target get hit if we do close above this area. It's looking bullish, looking good. My some of my targets here are 65,000 and then after that is 70,000. Uh, 963 and that's where i think this whole formation everything's looking pretty good stokes are crossing up now on the four hour and if you look at you know the three day two day all looking really really healthy here uh also on top of that on bitcoin on the cme chart uh we did close the weekly and it looks like we will close the weekly above this pivot here so that's obviously I mean, here we go. It did close above its old pivot here. So that's very, very bullish looking for that target to be hit. So let's go have a look at Ethereum. So Ethereum on the weekly here. Let's remove all drawings. Very bullish candle here and will close. Looks like, you know, pretty likely to close above uh, this 1934, uh, you know, this week. Right. And if that happens, I'm bullish. But if we do close below that, there might be some issues, but it's not looking like what's happening here. Uh, you know, coming to the daily, we start to see momentum wanting to turn down here. But again, we can spend some time up there and we could simply just have a retest back to this high, which is not an issue for our momentum down. So I would be looking for a bit of sideways, maybe a tiny bit of down, but this can easily get flipped up here and hold some sort of very tight uh, trend line going up here like so. Uh, on a whole, this is looking very, very good for Ethereum, to be honest. And I would look for higher targets to be hit, right? So if we were to look at uh, lower time frame, I don't know what I've done here. Escape, take me out. Yes. Uh, let's go on the one hour and see what we're looking at. Yeah, we can see we've established a very clean range here. We have a support being generated right here like so. And we have a resistance being generated like so. And if we do break the support here, I do think we probably come down all the way down to 2054. But as long as we're holding this level here around, you know, 2017 and 2050, as long as we're holding that level, I'm not bearish. And I think we have continuation to this 2310 and with extra continuation uh, points, which we can draw out now, which I think we actually supersede that and actually continue even more, which we can draw from here to here okay so we have that in and then what is our next targets after that we would have to go on a daily time frame and our next targets can be taken even from this base here to that base there and yeah now we're getting targets up here all the way at 2548 so those are my targets that i'm oops that i'm expecting to be hit and i do think ethereum probably uh, makes its way up there some short term pullback here at two three uh two thousand three oh sorry at yeah two thousand three hundred and ten and then you know we start going up I, there should be a few pull pullbacks in between but looking pretty good you know a little bit of downside but on the other hand if we do break this range you know you could see this as a descending triangles which typically break to the downside but uh you know, you can see that, yeah, if we do break this pivot here, then I do think we continue to our next target overall looking really, really great. Nice short video weekend. Relax, enjoy, be happy with these pumps. Take care, trade shop and until tomorrow. Peace.